Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Lacrimozza by Mozart, an arrangement by Thalberg. The first thing that you should know is the D minor scale and it's like this. Also you should know the D minor chord, first chord of the scale, which is like this. Now Mozart is going to take this D and put it on the bass here and also put this D upstairs right here and all he's going to do is punch this D and then use a passing tone C sharp to D and that's all there is. We have piano on the bass and pianissimo on the right hand but we also have a slur here that means we can drop this and release here on the second D which resolves to the D minor chord so which make us feel that that C sharp should be a little bit painful so we have okay we got the first one now from this all we're gonna do is go back to the D minor chord which was like this and we just pick two notes we play the F and A we add the A right here on the right hand and we resolve to B flat and that's all there is. So we have. Okay. Pedal for this, we play the D, pedal down. We play the F and A, up and down. And that's it. Okay. Now, that's all based on the same chord, D minor, first chord. Now, if we go to the second chord, we have this. Remember that we had a B flat on the scale, so we're going to use the E minor 7 flat 5 for this and what he does is already using the B flat on the right hand but he will punch these two notes and then he used the D to the C sharp and that's it okay now we have one more and if we go to the fifth tone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 we have this chord A7 and he used these two notes flipped on the left hand and then he uses a regular C to come down. So we have, okay, fifth chord of the scale. So let's play it all, this first measures. We have the D here, still D minor. We switch now, E minor seven flat five, and A seven here, okay? For the right hand, I always use the second and the third finger. Da, da, da. That makes it simple to understand and don't have to worry so much about changing the fingerings. So let's play it. We have 12 eighth notes, so we could count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay? So that tells us that every time we count, we should emphasize a little bit the bass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. But also we should emphasize this slur that we have so we could go down on the first one and release on the second note. Down on the first note with the slur. Okay? And that's all there is. Let's play it all the way through so we have this. Alright. For the next part we're going to use the same chord so we have D minor here we could flip the note right here and we have a D minor chord, same chord and what we'll do is take these two notes A and D put them right here and we punch left hand and we have the two notes right there and that's all there is same articulation from before so we have a slur here and up mm. the pedal also the same thing play pedal down and we have that. Now remember that we discussed the E minor 7 flat 5 and we do the version we get these notes and we punch the chord and we'll take the B flat and G from the chord and we play it right here on the right hand. That's it. Now if we play both chords notice that we always take notes from the chord there B flat and G. Okay now we're gonna come back here 
and that's no other than the same chord flipped again and we have A, D, F and he's gonna do a passing tone E to F so it's always outlining some notes from the chord so we have this alright and then we go to the same fifth chord the A7 in this way now he took away the E because he already played it so he plays here and then he split the A and the C sharp up here alright and we have the whole line so second measure let's play a song always change pedal alright let's play the two measures now Larghetto and I have that the eighth note should be 138 and I think that's a little bit fast but if you want to have an idea I have this so this will be 138 so we have this So you could take your time and think up later about the tempo once you know the whole piece because this might be too quick later on when we play the whole piece. Now the next part is going to use the same chord, D minor, so we're going to place D and D on the bass here and we're also going to use the same chord on the right hand, we're going to just add the A and we're going to roll it all the way up and the melody is here on the picky, that A, so you have it there, okay? Now the right hand now, since you roll this on D minor, you can go right straight to C sharp here and D because it's right there and then you drop here with both hands, okay? So you could do. And this, he put a short note and this is very good because I allowed you to leap to the next part. So we have. We have that now and this is going to repeat two times so I'm going to put it slowly gradually and then I'm going to break it down so we have this we go to C sharp D we're playing with D minor here we play this but this force down here this note allows us to leap here and then we'll have left hand like this with the A by itself and then we have this arpeggio and then we'll take this with the right hand. D, C sharp. And we get there. Okay? I think it's easier if I give you first the left hand notes. So we have here D. Then we're going to F. Octave. Now we're going to start the arpeggio D, A, F here. If you can reach just let go of the D below. Now we have D minor again, inversion, and then this chord we take it with the right hand, so we're going to leap again to E, and then we have A, okay? So right hand for this, we have this, we leap here, we leap here, and that allows it to get to A, we have left hand, and then we run this up. And then we have this A7 again. Okay, so the right hand has to take care of the most of the time, but with the helps now and then with the left hand. Together now, so we have the chord. The movement allows you to bring here, play C sharp D with the same hand. We decrease here, we go down. We leap both hands, we run this up, we bring out the melody there, we jump again, we keep the D on top, C sharp, and then A7, and this same hand does this. Okay? So the reason why I don't leap this way is because I don't want to bend the body the whole time. So 
is right there already, I don't have to move. So we have D minor, same D minor, now here. This is the change of chord. E minor 7 flat 5, A7, and then we repeat. So, two times we have the same thing. I hope this is clear to you. It's important that you think a little bit on this. And also on the melody. That's the simple melody right there. If you do just a simple melody without the harmony, it will be this. just that. So I'm going to play one last time very slowly here and we'll continue. So. Make sure you bring the thumb there. A, C sharp, D resolve, thumb here, fifth finger on top and that's it. And it's possible to play it fairly fast like this. again okay just make sure you bring out that note this one and then you have it on the right hand and here that's resolving there okay and then back Let's continue and if we have the D minor chord from the first degree of the scale we could do the inversion here and get to this one. Now we could double up that and put a D below and that gives us the chord. Now this is fairly simple because you punch this, let go of the right hand, put a little pedal at the beginning but right away we have in this hand rest so we do. And it's very fairly simple to memorize because we're gonna just take these two notes and play it up here. Okay, Okay. still piano though, and we're going to go now to the fifth chord here, and we'll do the same, watch this, we have A, 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 C sharp, E, A major, fifth chord, and when we play the two notes, it's E and A, those two notes, so, yum, okay, let's play both, so, D minor, to A, Okay, and when we play the chords, you could bring out a little bit more D, a little bit more E. Now from there, we're going to do the inversion again. We have D minor again in a different position, an inversion again. And what we do is take these two notes and go up here and play them. So we have this. Alright, now here we're going to go to a different chord, and if we end up with D, if we lower one chord down, we have C major. He's going to open up here and do a tenth here. All of this is C major. This is open. If you cannot reach, you can let go like this. So you play this and then you take this interval and play it up here too. All right. So, and this is the fifth mesh. So we have this. You take these two notes, you play them up here. A major. You take these two notes and play them up here. You take D minor, you take these two notes. You play this uh, C major, you play these two notes. So you're always taking notes from the chord. Okay, pedaling for this, you put a little bit of pedal, but as soon as the right hand plays, you let go. Let go, right after. All right, now since we play C major now, C major is related to F. So we're going to do the inversion here, 
Split them and do the same procedure with this chord, F and A. Notice that we always take the upper part of the chord here. E major, we take the upper part. A minor, we take the upper part, A, A and C. G major, we take the upper part, D and G. And so on. So we have F major. Those two notes, here E major, we take these two notes, A minor, we take these two notes, so it's simple to memorize, and then we take these two notes, and we're going to continue. So these two measures, it's like this, let go always, we have rest. Okay, and sometimes if you can't reach with the left hand, break it. Now, from F major, we could now go to the E major chord, which is right next to it, and we could add the B here, put the G sharp below, let go here, and put the E. So we have this, and if you can't reach, you could just do the arpeggio there, put the pedal on, and we'll take this interval, just like we did before, and we play it right here, on the right hand. So. Okay, you should let go of the pedal though. Okay, now we continue and we could go to A minor here. We have A minor like this. So we had D minor before. We could go to the fifth chord and instead of A major, make it an A minor. And then he open up all those notes. A minor flavor there. So again, you can punch it like this or you could split the left hand. And we take these two notes, C, A, okay? After the A minor, we could go to G major. We open up and add the G and B, which is a tenth. If you cannot reach, remember, you could do this. We punch this and we take these two intervals, play them up there, okay? So this is the sixth measure. Let's play through slowly. So we play F major. Take these two notes, play it up there. We play E major, take these two notes, play it up there. We play A minor, take these two notes, play it up there. We play the G major, play it up there. So every single interval you repeat it on the right hand. It's important that you see that because that will make it very simple to memorize rather than punching and trying to search for what it is. So if I play these two measures, it will be this. Piano, C major, F major, E major, A minor, G major. Okay, so it's important here that when you punch the chord, you put the pedal, but as soon as you get here, you let go. Okay, and that gives an effect almost like a drum. Also, remember the articulation from the beginning. Okay, I like to do all this with the same hand just to keep the structure of the body straightforward rather than crossing over. If I do cross over, I have to, I'm already awkward like this. And if it keeps going up, I'm like this. When I come back to the bass, I might have a hard time coming back. You can keep it there easily. And also this movement here throws you to the next one. Yum, throws you here. Yum, throws you here. See how I use the body there? Okay. So when you punch the chord, it's important that you use this energy that you go down here to throw you to the next note. So yum, throws you here. Down, throws you here. Yum, go there. very comfortable to play it okay now he's gonna eliminate the rest and he's gonna have low chords now so this will last one two three 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 one two so 
now it's all long. So, but let's take a look at the chord. C minor is like this. Okay. Now what he did is add the G, C, and add those two notes, uh, stairs right there. Now we do the same procedure. We take these two notes and play E flat C. So yum. In this time we keep the pedal going. Now this chord he's gonna make it here, which it will give us a C7. But he flipped the notes. He has this. He put the B flat on the bass, and you can see it all there. C7 comes in the same from the F major scale, fifth chord. So we have this. Now we take the two intervals here, E and C, and we play them up there. Now we're going to F again, F major, like this, open. Remember the chord from there. So don't let go of the left hand. Now we grab those two notes, play them here. You can see them everywhere. Now we're gonna do an F diminish like this but the main chord is like this but the way he arranged it is open like that so now we take this six and play right there so so by memorizing the chord I already know the position that my hand my right hand has to leap so let's play all this measure so we have we we'll start piano, he put crescendo, always remember when you see a crescendo, piano first, we have these two notes, the upper notes, these two notes, arpeggio, we grab those two notes, diminish, and we get the G, okay, and now by this time on G, we'll start playing the chords but doing octaves with the two notes from the octave, so we have here G major, like this, but we're gonna go octave G G. Remember always the slur. Loud and a little bit lighter this one. We're going to B flat seven, but he's got this. He put it in this way. Right there. If you let go of the B flat, you can play it just fine. And then we'll take the octave. Okay? Go to D minor now open like this, we take the octave, we go to A major, and we finish there, here. So I'm going to play these two measures, uh, we start piano on C minor and we do the crescendo, so we have C7, F major, diminish, G major, B flat 7, D minor, and we get to A major and we continue to the next part I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe also thank you very much and all my supporters from Patron and buy me a coffee